Hey gentlemen, this is Vince Miller. Thank you so much for joining me for another devotional. Today we're going to be in John chapter 9. I'm going to read verse 17. Remember, Jesus healed a blind man. They brought him to some Pharisees and now they're going to question him. They said again to the blind man, what do you say about him, that's Jesus, since he, Jesus, has opened your eyes? He said, he is a prophet. Man, fellas, this is the correct response to what Jesus has done in his life. When a man is transformed by Jesus, he should testify about Jesus. But over time, don't you really think the risk of doing this has greatly increased? I mean, in our country, we used to be able to engage in a friendly debate about our beliefs and our differences. And maybe from time to time, we left the Thanksgiving table with a little irritation, but still we're willing to have the conversation and agree to disagree, right? Then over time, this developed into uh, certain social expectations about keeping our beliefs to ourselves. And over more time, human resource departments told us that there was a time and a place to talk about our faith, but not during work or school hours. And then finally, they prohibited proselytizing in the workplace and schools of learning altogether. But now, if you're not proselytizing the cultural agenda and its mandates, even when they oppose your faith, you are socially deplatformed or fired. You know, fellas, just a few days ago, I posted a, a video entitled A Case of Gender and Identity Confusion. And guess what? Someone shared this. And I was put in Facebook prison for it. <laughs> You're free to go back and actually listen to it if you want. And I hope you do because there was nothing overtly substantial in it that I thought could be offensive. And I believe everything that I said on it was founded on biblical truth. But because it didn't align with certain popular preferences, I was put in social prison for my beliefs. And I think it's pretty easy to predict that this response to the truth and our testimony is going to increase. Institutions, and platforms, and corporations have taken control of the conversation and the freedoms we once had are now going away. And guess what? You're gonna be faced with the same decision that this blind man faced. Will you testify to the transformation that Jesus has had in your life? Will you testify about it? If it actually costs you something, your job, your reputation, your friends, your family, and eventually your life. You know, as godly men, we need to start assessing and addressing this issue right now. I mean, you should adjust how you live so that you can actually testify about Jesus as far as it's going to take you during your time. Because, fellas, one day the freedoms we have in this country will be taken from us, and then our testimony won't cost us our job. It's going to cost us our life. That's the truth, fellas. I love you. I pray this has blessed you. If it has, share it with someone else and testify today, even if it costs you something. And I'll see you right back here again tomorrow, maybe without a job. <laughs>